Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be attempting the Viral Sunset Blush. First we're going to go in with um, a purple and I don't have any purple blush so we're just going to use eyeshadow and hope it turns out well. I'm going to go in with Next Level. So I got a little bit on my brush and we're going to put it here and kind of up a bit. Just to kind of give it like that really off steady purple. I'm going to go in a little bit more. Bring it here and bring it up. Next I'm using this Basma uh, Fuchsia blush. It's super pink and it's more of like a cream so I gotta use my finger for this one. And then we're just gonna, oh that is bright, but we're just gonna dip that in here and build up kind of a base. I like to go really close to my eyes. I find that just like it really lifts my face. So I'm just gonna blend this in with the purple a little bit. But nothing too crazy. I mean, it's totally crazy, but here we are. So the next shade is coming from Natasha Denona's Rose uh, Cheek Duo. I'm using the pink here. It's also a cream, bl cream blush. <laughs> um, and that's going to come up a little bit closer. So it's pretty close, but it's just like sort of peachy. Um, and we're going to bring that up here. Bring it over. And bring it up just to kind of blend everything in. This is looking wild, okay, and looking nutty, but that's okay. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of tone it down with this blush. This is NARS Behave. Uh, I've never really used it, but I just figured like this could be a good like tone it down. Um, just to kind of bring it back down to earth because this is wild. And just kind of blend everything in. It's still wild. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tone this down. <laughs> I'm so nervous. So, to top this all off, I think I'm either torn between this palette or this palette, but I feel like this palette could, not this palette, this NARS blush in shade Orgasm, but I feel like this one might give me more dimension, so we're going to try this one. So, we're going to start with this shade and go over. Um, and just kind of bring it up like part way. Lovely. Still way more intense than I'd want it to be. Now I'm using the next shade and I'm kind of bringing that down. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit just because like that's such a beautiful sunsetty look. And then the next is the highlighter and I'm putting a lot of that on. Just because like it's supposed to be supposed to be like a sunset blush so I think it turned out okay it turned out okay only okay but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that purple on the outer edge and see if that helps at all let us try it It does look like a sunset, but it's a little bit too pigmented, so I don't know what I'm going to do to get this a little unpigmented. Um, I'm going to try some Danessa Merrick's just like translucent balm and see if we can take away a little bit of this pigment. Um, let's see. Slightly. Only slightly, though. Maybe I'll have to put more concealer on. I mean, it did turn out well, but I just, I put too much product on. So, and I don't want to go around all day with like this much blush on my face. Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to. Let's do a little bit of blush on the eye too. Because that's what Sabrina Carpenter does. I don't know. It really, it does look like a sunset. Okay. It does look like a sunset, but I might've used too much. Let's do the other side and see if we can make this work. So there it is, all done, and I did my eyeshadow too to see if like I could really make this work. I do find that it works. Um, I probably should have used a darker purple up here maybe to make it look more sunsetty, but I really, really like it, and I'm really happy I tried this. So I wouldn't wear this every day, but it was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and comment what you'd like to see next. Subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.